Morning guys, Lenny Reed, down to my diesel products. I want to talk to you about uh, pressure and microseconds for tuning. Tuners, there's a lot of them out there and they're going to listen to the information that you're giving them. If you're not giving them a whole lot to go off of, they can't really do their very best job or their very best work for you. Remember this, most trucks come with about 1,850 microseconds of injector on time and they, most of those trucks will redline right around 3,200 engine RPM. As engine RPM goes up, 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 the window time as it goes around the clock diminishes and it shrinks. So RPM goes up, the injector on time needs to go down in order to maintain cylinder pressure and get the fuel to burn before the exhaust valve pops off and opens. So again, 1,850 US at 3,200 RPM. If you're gonna go up to say 3,500 RPM, I would limit no hotter on even your biggest tune to about 2,300 microseconds, 22, 2,300 microseconds. If you're gonna be shifting or gonna have a red line set at 3,500 RPM, don't stretch it out to 2,600, don't stretch it out to 2,700. Will you make more power there? Yes. How often are you using that tune and how much of that truck's life is spent at wide open throttle? All of this stuff is to try and get you, the ultimate package for you is your daily. If you stretch out your daily that tight all the time, then really what you need to do is get a bigger injector so you don't have to go higher than 2300 microseconds. Now, if you're gonna go up to say 4,000 engine RPM, the window of time that is opportune for the injector to be on also diminishes again. So 4,000 RPM is gonna be something like say 1600 microseconds. And at that point, the window of time has diminished even further so if you're gonna shift at say 5,400 RPM, you need to be down to like 1,200 microseconds. Well then, at 1,200 microseconds, I'm not gonna make you power. Well, if your injector's big enough and you've got the pressure set right, you're gonna make all the power you need. I've made 2,700 horsepower on fuel only, 1,200 microseconds at about 240 MPA. That's boost, that's not nitrous, that's nothing. That's 2,700 horse on fuel only with just a big ass single. All right, so back to stock. How many microseconds was it? Stock, they're about 1,850, and they don't give you any EGT issues. Cylinder timing's not so far advanced as hurting its own blocks. Step one for a hot tune is gonna be like 3,500 RPM, and you're gonna wanna limit that to about 2,300 microseconds. But Len, I can make more power on 2,500. Yes, you can. But you're gonna have a lot more unburnt fuel. You're gonna make a lot more exhaust gas temperature because you're pounding on that injector for 2,500 microseconds, not 2,300. But Len, I wanna run 4,000 RPM. That's fine, run 4,000 RPM, but limit your ceiling of injector on time to 1,600 microseconds. At 1,600 microseconds, you won't have to give it a bunch of advance. The injector on time is less than stock, so you have to have a bigger injector than stock, but you're also spending a lot more RPM than stock. 1,600 is a good rule, and again, 5,400 engine RPM, if you're gonna to shift to 5,400 or it's gonna redline at 5,400, I've found personally that about 1,200 microseconds was my ceiling. Anything more than that, we had to advance the timing just a little bit further than I was comfortable and I didn't wanna start breaking blocks and things. So I'm gonna limit myself to 1,200 microseconds to try and maintain happy, reliable power. Hope that helps. Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel Products.